Hi guys, very good morning to you. Uh, welcome to the video number 315. And uh, my name is Ajay. I'm going to today educate you about the VBA, uh, the Excel VBA from where we are going to make a macro, from where we are going to control the outlook. And we are going to extract the attachment from the outlook from a particular folder, right? And uh, we will do this in two ways. One is to import the information in Excel. For example, if somebody has, um, you know, uh, sent out any email to you and you want to see that uh, what was the date what was the file name you know the attachment name and what was the sender email address and all that stuff we would like to import that information in the excel and the second thing is that what if you want to save that file in your c drive d drive or wherever i mean you know the location you have so this idea i actually have got it from my one of my subscribers as most most of you know uh, if you're following my channel that uh, you know i follow your comments i i follow your questions and i try to help you out and this way you know i try that with my videos you can learn excel excel vba access and access vba now this is what i was talking about uh Riddhi actually who joined the channel recently he has to say this what if we want to save the attachment with the sender's email address so he was watching i think one of my excel outlook video actually the connection the connection uh, how to set up the connection with the outlook and the uh, you know excel so this is what we want to do and for those who are watching the channel for the first time guys just i want to take 10 seconds this is a you know the playlist 42 categories we have here and you can scroll it down you will find every video here beginner level video we have we have the developer level the advanced level videos as well right you just need to find out the right category and you can start it the channel is has these all 300 and you know amazing 14 videos on access access vba excel and excel vba so let's come to the point now um, so guys you can see here that uh, i have here my outlook and i have uh, some dummy emails you know which um, which i actually would like to uh, you know uh, for the demonstration purpose i have created some of these emails and you can see that they are on my folder dummy uh, these emails are not actually uh, you know uh, we, we haven't kept these emails in any of the outlook default default folder right they are inside the dummy folder which i created so no worries at all right you can create your own folders and uh, we just need to give the path now you can see that uh, if i see uh, the sender name is obviously it's me because i don't use this as my official id but that's fine right now if i look at this this is my you know uh, yahoo id from where i received good morning there is no attachment though that's fine and uh, if i just uh, close this then there's another email uh, where i have this test dot ppt dot x so first of all i will show you that what if you want to import all this information like who is the sender name the sender email address what is the let's say subject line and also the attachment name which is very important and the date of the sending the email right so if you're gonna send me let's say i have i can have here n number of email ids not a problem at all right we will import all the information in the excel here that is my first part in the second part we will see that if you want to save these files with the sender name as ridhi actually you know also asked that they want to save these all the attachments like the this is the test.pptx so maybe you would like to save it as ajay kumar and then hyphen test.pptx right and then here also you have so many uh, attachments you can see here right now obviously you cannot uh, uh, give the same name because as he has asked that uh, what if you want to save the attachments with the sender name now sender name can be same so we would like to combine the sender name with the files right so that this should be ajay.pamar pattern loop and this should be ajay.pamar template and this should be ajay.pamar uh, you know yes bang okay so in this way i mean we want to actually fetch the information so this is going to be our second part obviously so let's go ahead and uh, i'm going to create here a couple of columns for example what do you want you want the sender name you want the sender email address well uh, you can write here sender email address as well we would like to import all these informations in the excel uh then do you want the subject email uh, well if you want you can write it here and uh, this is going to be the file name i think this is more important and of course the date date received if you want to make this kind of a information right so let me just uh, increase the width of this yeah 
so this is your header uh, let's just make it bold and uh, let me give it a color also <clears throat> that's fine okay now let's go ahead and prepare the code now the first thing which I want to actually do is I want to set up the connection and uh, by the way uh, as I was talking about let me insert the module also here and from here we will start uh, if you are new to the channel then you can also watch other 18 19 videos on outlook uh, just scroll it down and you will see here somewhere a playlist called excel vba connecting outlook from excel you can see here 19 videos are there all the 19 videos are different videos and all the 19 videos are an attempt to you know give you the reply because when you guys email or comment you have any difficulty i try to help you out right so most of the videos are in an attempt to you know give you the reply on this and uh, rest of the things i mean you can actually uh, watch and understand what i'm saying sometimes i also myself you know upload the video so these are all the different different videos guys on the outlook how to connect the outlook with the vba with the different motive each time i upload the video right this is just for your information okay now let's come back to the original topic so um, i want to make a plan here i want to discuss the plan first of all with you so that you know uh, when i write the things you should also understand the first thing obviously we will set up the outlook connection now to set up the outlook connection you know what we need to do well, we need to go to the tool and activate the outlook library what is the second thing now guys uh, the second thing is that um, in this uh, i will like to actually also define my folder which is dummy which is a kind of a subfolder right this is the folder i have created within this inbox so you need to uh, use a class which can retrieve which can help you in allocating the folder name and for that there is a class in the outlook which we call it uh, which we call it as namespace okay so that's it and then once you have the folder in the folder we will run the loop a collection loop that for each email in the dummy folder dot emails dot items so because we want to have the all the information so the, that loop will run and it will access all the emails one by one and that's it and then we will connect it we will import that information in our this excel file right so let's go ahead and first of all let's do the connectivity let's do the connectivity with the excel part okay so how are we going to do that we will use the early binding method i have talked about this in my uh, recent video also you can go there, uh, check out that video it's on the excel vba interview questions uh, what is the difference between late binding and early binding and i've talked about that in very detail okay so early binding means that you're gonna give the reference to the outlook library so let's uh, press m and let's see where we have the microsoft outlook and somewhere here it has to be um let me scroll it down microsoft outlook 16.0 because i am using an office 2016 but 16 is just a number you will have your own number but you need to on the library let's quickly check that we, whether we have got the outlook on or not yeah we have got the outlook on now let's write the code so import information import information first of all i will make this macro name you know what you need to do if you have followed all those 19 videos it's <laughs> it's very simple i just declare here outlook code which is like this demo as outlook dot application and set o equals to new outlook dot application perfect now these two lines will ensure that this my object variable my this o variable will hold this outlook object in the memory okay now, now what is the next thing now next thing next thing is that we will also like to use the another class which is responsible um, with the help of which we can actually work with the emails now you will ask me that oh, what is the requirement for this email because we are just going to work on the folder but in the folder also guys as i as i was talking about we need to run the loop and the loop loop will run only on you know um in the emails right because we have to access email one by one so we will have to use the email class as well so i'm going to write here a uh, dem and then o as uh, outlook mail item this is how we define it right and then you know 
this has to be equals to o dot create item so we need to create the email item and this is how we write right whenever you deal with the emails these are the standard lines so you can say that these four lines you will have to write every time now in this video in this uh, topic there is today we are going to declare one more class which i was talking about namespace because name with the help of the namespace you can set up your folders right that that is why the class is there available right so this is how we will write o n i, I just give it a name called o n s as outlook so outlook has one more class which is namespace and this is how you define o n s equals to and then you write uh, o dot uh, get namespace and you've got to get that namespace which is called the mapi right right so this mapi it actually stands for i think um uh, it's i am not able to recall it uh, it's a messaging um application uh, protocol interface uh protocol or there's some word actually you can google it but basically this actually you know the means that it's responsible for your outlook folders now I'm going to tell you how we are going to use this ONS, which is now my, you know, the class called the namespace. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let's write another thing, the folder, how you're going to define the folder. So I'll write them my folder as outlook.folder, right? Now this is very important line. How you're going to define your folder? Set fol equals to now this is where your ons object is going to be used if you are wondering that why we have declared this because ons now will have a method which can let you know the get default folder right so ons dot ons dot get default folder it's coming because it's equals to mapi which is a part of your this namespace okay so you can write here the folder name which is ol inbox but because we are not really going to talk about the inbox folder, we are going to talk about the folder inside the inbox. So you will write, you will need to write here folders and then in the folders you need to write your dummy name, which is this dummy one, right? If you're working on the inbox only, you can stop the code here till this level. You don't have to go further here. Okay. And by the way, um, uh, we can also quickly find it out this, um, the full form of this MAPI, uh, let's, let's, uh, check that out let me quickly go to the google and uh, let me hit on this google one and let's write here mapi full meaning in vba okay so let's have a look i think it's messaging yeah messaging application program interface yeah perfect right so you should know that right you can read i mean a lot of articles a lot of links are available you can see here so basically this helps you in uh you know giving the platform to retrieve the information from the folders as you know we have using this my folder we have defined that okay okay now what is the next thing now the folder is created and the next thing is we would like to run the loop as i was talking about okay so we can say that for um and uh, at the same time, you can also declare uh, because we want to import this information. So declare your workbook dim wp as this workbook set wp equals to this workbook. This means that now wp is an object which will be equivalent to your this workbook. When I say this workbook means where we are writing the module and you know that we are writing the module in the test.xlsm, right? So we will like to set the sheet as well. This is how we set up the sheet set. WS is worksheet, WS is my object, and this is what we need to do. Now, what is your sheet name? That's what you want to capture. So um, I have a sheet three name, so you can write here three, or maybe you can write here the sheet name, sheet three. If you have something else, please write that name. And uh, just let's prefix this WP sheets, yeah. And then you can write the sheet name, that's it. So in the entire code now going forward, what I will do, I will not write sheet three dot select, you know, sort of that stuff. I'll, I'll just let you know. We are just going to refer this WS. WS means that we are talking about the sheet three, as simple as that. Now let's come to the last part of this uh, code, which is to run the email. Now, so far what you have done, you have set up the connection using these two lines, the outlook dot application, 
right these two lines and then afterwards you you also uh, said that you would like to use the outlook mail item because you want to run the loop for each e you know email in the folders dot emails and then for the folder also you have to use the namespace class everything is done you have also set up your excel that where you would like to have the information which is this sheet 3 and the next part is which is the, which is the last part is you need to run the for loop for each loop so this is how you write guys for each email now what is your email well my email is defined as you can see here uh, this is by the way this is wrong this is not the correct i am so sorry uh, you have defined o as a outlook application so you cannot define it again for the mail item right so this has to be another variable if i run this i will get the error so my bad this has to be like this o mail as outlook dot mail item o mail now, o mail is the different and o is a different right basically o is the outlook application which is the biggest application within the application you have the emails and then folders right okay so now o mail is my email so i will write like this o mail for each o mail in where in my folder which folder my dummy folder but how you have you know defined it in vba well that's my folder but then in the folder what in the folder items this is how we write okay so if you want to run it in uh, if you want to understand it if you want to read it in very simple language then it means that for each email in my dummy folder dot items which which means these are all called the items okay so the loop is ready what do you want to do now well i want to first of all what is the information you need in your excel which is here which is your you can say that uh, the row number one okay row number two actually so we will define row as, as well r as long and r will start with two remember okay so i'm gonna write here ws dot which is my sheet okay and cells in the row number which is r and the column number is going to be one what value you want so i want the value called the sender name so how are you going to get the sender name omil dot sender that's it sender you can write here sender perfect and then i copy the same line ws dot remember ws is what you have already defined the ws which is sheet 3 so you don't have to write the complete syntax this is how we do the things right in the column 2 the row number will remain same the on the second row and the column number 2 i would like to have the sender email address so we have a property associated with this sender email address which is this one and this is what i actually reverted in the my comments also okay uh, what is the subject line well subject line can also be quickly written we uh, let me just copy the entire code again and change the column because columns are moving so in the column 3 i will have the subject and we have the subject perfect again i copy the line and this time i will go in the fourth column and we would like to see the attachment name now now that's very interesting now how are you going to get the attachment name so let me see if we can have the attachments now attachments dot uh, <coughs> so if you see here uh, you have the just a second attachment dot item okay and then do we have anything here display name file name yeah the file name is there so let's see if we can get that and uh, the last thing which we need is the date received okay so we will have to find that if we have any property associated with the o mail which can give us the date so let's see here date um well Defer delivery time we have, uh, created time, creation time we have, and uh, what else we can have is, let me just remove all these uh, properties and let's start from here. So these are all the property in the methods and we will have to find if we have that kind of, you know, the property which can let us know that what was the time when the email received so scroll it down conversation id creation time uh, creation time uh, we can check on the creation time also but before we do that i want to check all the things quickly okay so print out received by name uh, yeah i think somewhere reminder time 
you have seen a lot of properties are here right even i don't know received on behalf of there are very good properties properties means that which can tell you about the object which can give you the information okay receive time i believe this is the one we can use this receive time okay okay fine and of course don't forget to increment the row because next time you would like to go in the next row otherwise the data will be overwritten so this is how i think the code should look like okay so let's start and let me run the code uh, argument not optional uh, so here we have some problem i think the file name is not coming correct so we will have to find it out that how we can retrieve the attachment name right um, I guess uh, the problem is uh, this shouldn't be item sort file name. Uh, we will have to, I think, write the index item. What is index for that? The position. So I'm gonna write it right here. One. Uh, one means that there, there there will be one attachment, and we will like to get that name. And by the way, this is not the fourth column. This is the fifth column, right? So let's go ahead and when, uh, let's, uh, let us see that if we will have the problem, we will rectify it, right? I don't want to edit the video. Let's go with the flow. And uh, so this is how the entire code is written. And let me just increase the height of this little more and we can see the code. Yeah. So there we go. Now let's start the code. All right. There we go. Everything is set up. The things are working fine now. There's no error. So here we will have the sender name, which is on the cell row number two and the column number one which means a2 so i got the sender name right perfect sender email address also i want and there we go yeah it's working very nice we got the subject also the subject of the email was great now this is very interesting let's see if we can get this attachment name and yes that that's how you got the attachment name as well receive time so receive time is also there and uh, let me decrease the little just width yeah this is coming great now r is incremented so we are on the next row so let me quickly run this and as you can see here i've got all the files very nice array index out of the bonds so i think um, there is there must be not any attachment you know with that code uh, with this line good morning not a problem uh, we will put the on error resume next so that if any email doesn't have the attachment, the code should not stop, right? There we go, enter. So guys, this is how we created this. We imported all the values, right? So, uh, but before I do that, before I put the on error resume next, uh, you can see here, I have got my Outlook email and I've got my Yahoo as well. Everything is there, wonderful. Now the important part, I'm not sure if you got that or not, but uh, there was a file which I was trying to show you uh, I think that's the file called great. Now the great has three actually attachments, right? But in our case, what we have done uh, here, that's my, the first line, you know, the second line, basically the pattern loop dot XLSM. So if you see only the one attachment is captured in this email, this one right what about the rest now it's very simple basically what happened uh, you have here attachment one only because you have written here one only if you write here two and three definitely you can actually extract the attachments also you know the rest of the attachments also I mean to say so uh, for that now what you need to do is uh, you can further go ahead and run one more co uh, code which is going to be uh, you know loop another loop within this for each O mail. So basically my understanding is, what I want to say is, uh, while you access these mails one by one, you also need to see that for each attachment in the mail, attachments also. So there's another collection which you will write with, so that when it is going to access this email, it further checks that how many attachments it has. So you can further go ahead and write that code as well. And I've talked about that code in one of my you know this the video here you can see here there is a video called how to extract the attachments um, it's a very old video actually a uh, lot of clicks are there on that uh, how to save uh, no not that one yeah I think this is the one how to save email attachments on desktop so that loop you are simply going to fix it here 
right but for the time being uh, i mean because i have already talked about that loop uh, i can do one thing uh, i think and then that makes a sense also uh, i mean you need to just uh, make assumption that how many i mean you know an email in the email generally how many files you can have so you can write all you know those kind of a stuff here, like item 2 item 3 and then so this is the another method i'm telling you right why i don't want to tell you that method because that method uh, which i'm talking about for each attachment in the attachments you know uh, email dot attachments that's already there in my this video you can go ahead and you can club it with this kind of a code but this time i'm talking something new right and that's my the purpose of this so i'm saying that in any email uh, i will not be having more than four attachments if you have 10 write 10 right that's fine so uh, but yes you need to change the column also because uh, you know in one line it's very difficult though you can do that you can use the concatenate but i think uh, that will not be a good idea so maybe you can do one thing here you can create some columns here three columns let's say and you can write here the file name one and you can drag it down and you can say here file name two file name three and file name four so this is going to be the fourth column fifth column sixth column and seventh column and uh, so we have the sixth column yeah perfect now obviously our, our email which has a problem uh, an email uh, which doesn't have the attachment that will show the error because there is no attachment right so on the top of this line here let's do one thing let's write on error resume next now on error resume next i have used in many of my codes and in fact i have uploaded a video also on the on error if you want to know what is the on error just go to the excel vba introduction series and uh, you will find here a very basic video handling uh, error discussions vba error discussions this is the video you must watch if you want to be an expert in handling the errors and then don't forget to watch this video after you watch this because here we are discussing the same thing but it's a different error i mean it's kind of a vlookup error if you have the vlookup error then how to deal with that error this is more of a generic kind of a issue okay so let's come back to this i i guess uh, i should be able to run this code now and uh, let me clear everything here so you can you can record the macro or maybe you can simply write that from range a2 to h12 dot select and selection dot clear content that will clear before the code run make sure your sheet should be clean excluding the headers so uh, let's go ahead and run the code and let's see we are going to have the values and uh, you have already seen the code so i'm just going to max you know little bit i'm going to i mean decrease the height of this now let's run this oh yes there we go guys you got the pattern dot xlsm you got the template yes bank everything is there now you see that the file name 4 was, wasn't there and you know that in my email I had only 3 maximum files so that's perfectly fine right so this is not stopping the code is not stopping because we have written on error resume next right so this is going to run now and I'm gonna quickly press F5 there we go and that's it guys so wherever we have the attachments they are extracted wherever we didn't have they are not coming so this is a wonderful code I'm really I, I actually thank you so much for this um, you know you uh, Riddhi you have asked a fantastic question and today we have another feather in our cap uh, because of just your great question so I'm gonna upload this video in that you know the same outlook series the playlist called how to set up the connection with the outlook and the excel now this is the first part right and now what is the next thing you want to do now what if as he he also talked about that instead of importing the information let's say or maybe after importing the information we would like to also save those files okay so i just copy the code entire code and we will go in the next module and i paste the code here okay so everything will remain same the only thing is we don't uh, basically uh, need the subject so i'm simply going to delete this line you don't need the uh, e email address you need yeah so we can do one thing that uh, uh, in the email address also you will have a problem because i believe you can't use any special character when you save any excel file right for example if i try to have this file renamed as budget at the rate let me see if we can do that i'm not sure actually i think we should be able to do that yeah we can do that perfect so we can use the email address so uh, 
this is fine but then we will not use it here we will create a variable i just write it that var you declare the variable as var because we don't want to actually you know import the information that's fine and you don't need the r here so i can quickly go ahead and remove this r from here okay and uh, the sender name well i don't need the sender name so that's fine uh, this is how the email should look like uh, what else you need uh, attachment yes we need the attachments okay so uh, maybe you can do one thing uh, you can further go ahead and uh, uh, now this time let's do one thing let's run the attachment code here for each so this will serve the purpose you will have both the codes now once you are on the email this is what you need to do uh, you need to declare a class called attachment outlook dot attachment so that we can figure it out what attachments we have and then for each omail in folder items you will write here for each atmt in now in my attachments this is how you will write in in my you know that email attachments so uh, for each otmt in omail dot just a second let me reset the code and uh, omail attachments and the next so this is another loop which we are going to write and um, okay so all set i believe and uh, then here what you need to do you need to save that attachment atmt dot uh, i'm not able to see that uh, dot operator let let me have a look here what's wrong with this reset the code okay that's a reason duplicate option statement i think uh, we copied option explicit two times let me remove this from here okay and also one more thing uh, this should be a different macro save file outlook let's i'm gonna give this name all right so here we will write now uh, you can see here save as coming now that's what exactly i was looking forward to now you need to save the file you need to save the file where i'm going to save it man in my e drive so you give the path guys e drive this is how we will give the path and now what would be the name of the file uh, it should be var and then underscore uh, then of course the file name so attachment dot file name okay so file name will have the extension i believe so this is how uh, and we can prefix it with the a space the email address i'm talking about actually okay so i should have my all the attachments saved in the e drive and uh, in the e drive if i go i should delete everything from here so i'm gonna delete all these files and uh, yeah it's empty entirely empty now let us go ahead and run the code so this is your complete code now you can see that basically i have uh, used two loops right sub loop in the loop for each attachment is a inner loop and uh, the outer loop is the for each o mail and uh, every time we will capture this o mail address when we are on that email and we will use it here okay uh, so let's go ahead and uh, run the code and let me show you the e drive also uh okay so let's go ahead and run the code i hope the code should work so you got the email address which is ajay.pramar1981 at outlook.com right so now we have the attachment here let let me see the attachment name you can see here attachment name is pattern loop so it has picked the file and it has to be concatenated with this uh outlook and let's see if we can oh yeah there we go guys there we go you can see that let me just increase the width of this perfect we got the outlook uh the attachment and of course the the sender name next do we have any next item yes we have and you can see that keep running the code now this is going to run every time for any email where we don't have the attachment 
not a problem because you have written on a resume next so we have got all the items now this is a terrific video not because i'm <laughs> recording it but i guess because of the two simple reasons the one is the question was so brilliant and uh, i didn't actually want to you know i was telling you that you can pick up this code from my another video but then we got it basically the two different codes one is to how to save it and one is this one how to import the information to import the information you could also use here the same code for each attachment but i didn't use it because i have already uploaded so many videos on that so i wanted to show you something else but then in the module 3 i did the same thing so you have now two different methods here it can be this code this module in this line this code save file outlook can also be you know we can also use this kind of a stuff there but that's fine you have the two alternate methods right and uh, so uh, the, the second reason is that why this is uh, i mean you know so amazing this information because uh, you know we did the two things one is we uh, used the loop inside the loop that gives you good knowledge that how you can club the loops right both are the collection loops and if you don't have any idea about the collection loops please go ahead and watch my video on the excel vba collection loop series and of course the question was so good right so thank you so much again ridhi for have uh, you know asking this wonderful question and you keep writing me in and i keep on educating you all of you so i think that's it uh, i've already taken enough of your time so i like to say goodbye for the time being and i will be back with some another exciting stuff guys if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do subscribe and have your questions ask your questions leave your comments don't forget to click on the like if you like the video thank you so much for watching have a wonderful learning